my daughter is dead. While she was taking her last breath, my husband was busy saving someone else. The daughter of his first love. Breaking news, a fire broke out at a children's dance studio on Forest Street earlier tonight, causing the structure to collapse. First responders are on the scene. Cindy, don't be scared, baby. Somebody will come rescue us soon, okay? <coughs> Somebody help us! Please! Tim! Tim! Tim, over here, hurry! Emma! <coughs> Save Sydney, please. I, she's stuck. I can't. I can't get her out. I'm sorry. It hurts. Don't worry, baby girl. Daddy's here, okay? He's gonna help save you. Tim! Help us! Where are you going? What could be more important than saving your daughter's life? I don't want to risk moving this myself. Let the firefighters do their job. Ashley and Megan are here, too. They need my help. It's okay, baby girl. I'll be right back. No. I promise. No. Tim! Don't, don't, don't help me! It hurts. Ashley, there you are. Uh. Thank you, Tim. Ashley, get back in some place safe. I have to go back for Cindy. Oh. What's the matter? You're always here for us. Megan's fine now. Go, go back. Take care of Cindy. Tim, please don't leave me. Don't listen to her. We're fine. Go, go back to Cindy. Don't yeah. be ridiculous, okay? I'm getting you out of here. Megan, come on. Okay? Let's go. I'll come back for you, Cindy. I don't think we need a private room. We don't have insurance, and I know you don't make that much money. Don't worry, I used Emma's card. She won't notice. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I have to go check on Cindy. I haven't heard what's happened to her yet. Well, actually, I heard that everyone was evacuated safely. Oh, that's great. And I don't know when Megan's gonna wake up. I'm so nervous. You should call your family and your husband. so much for everything. You know, my 
Cindy gave me this good luck charm. If you blow into it, then good things will come your way. Thank you, Tim. Emma, what are you doing here? Sorry for disturbing your family time. It's not what it looks like. Ashley is a single mother, and they've been through a lot. You can understand. Sure. Yeah, I understand. But what about Cindy? You're so busy taking care of somebody else's daughter, did you forget you have your own? I'm just doing my job. And Cindy's fine, right? Fine? Tim, Cindy. How could you give Cindy's favorite toy to her? Cindy gave it to me. Emma, where is your empathy? Megan and Ashley have been through hell. Hell? You want to know what hell's like? Because that's where we're going after we Wait, let what her- what are you talking about? How could you say something like that just for attention? I think Emma's just in shock. I'm sorry, Auntie Emma. It's all my fault. Here. That's right, Emma. Give the sweet girl a hug. If Cindy's gone, can Tim be my daddy now? Don't hurt her. <gasps> Emma, what the hell? You ruined my family. Come on, let's go. Emma, come on. Why can't you think about other people for once? What a saint. Always putting others first, right? Go home. Cindy needs you. I'll be back as soon as Megan's feeling better. Tim, where are you? Cindy's dance recital starts soon. Sorry, Emma. Power went out at Ashley's house. She's alone at home, so I thought I'd help her out. You can go on your own, right? <gasps> Tim, Cindy is burning up. I think she needs to go to the hospital. Okay, Emma, but Megan had a tough day at school. I promise to spend the evening with her, and I will be over right after. Megan, again? Uh, do you even want to be Cindy's father? <coughs> here we are, baby. You always wanted to come here and make a cup with your daddy. Too bad daddy is always busy with someone else. You know he'll never get that chance again. You're an ugly crier. You're an ugly crier. No wonder Tim doesn't like you anymore. Megan, you can't run around like that. You're not fully recovered. Emma, what are you doing here? Who wants some candy? Emma, why aren't you with Cindy? Oh, you still remember her? I thought you only wanted to take care of other people's kids. <sighs> Megan just got discharged. She's really in need of some fun after everything with the hospital. And Ashley just got a job here, so I thought we'd drop by. But where's Cindy? Cindy can't be here. Tim, do you remember what you promised her? Of course. I was gonna bring her here and make a cup together with her on her birthday. So you do remember her birthday. I thought you only cared about these two. Tim, the doctor said that Megan can't overexert herself. Could you take us home? Look, we have all had a really tough past few days, but I will be there tomorrow for Sydney's birthday. My mom is coming too, and she's going to spoil that kid so much she's going to forget the fire ever happened. I promise. Yeah, Cindy and I will be there waiting for you tomorrow. Come on, guys, let's go. Auntie Emma, I was her at all yesterday. I just didn't want Tim to leave me. Megan, let's go. Auntie Emma looks sad. I just want to make her smile. Oh, sweet girl. Come on. Tim, what about her checkup tomorrow? Oh, I'll be there for her. Cindy's party will last a while. It's okay. Let's go. I thought you wanted some candy, right? 
Tim. This will be your last chance to ever see your daughter again. It's getting late. I can call Tim. No, we should start. Today would have been Cindy's eighth birthday. Instead of eating cake and celebrating with her family, she'll be celebrating alone in heaven. One. Cindy is the light of my life. She's smart, lively, and a marvelous ballerina. An angel with a sweet disposition. It was a blessing being her mother. I wish that we were lucky enough to be able to watch her grow up. Perhaps in the afterlife, I'll have a chance to make it up to her. Perhaps she's basking in joy right now, free from tears, and all of her wishes have come true. Something feels off. And for those of us who remain here on Earth, I hope Maybe we'll be able to find the smile that she brought to our faces again someday. No. 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 Anyone want to see you once? Who wants some birthday cake? 